Okay, so we have finished the topic for, for probability. So by now, the, now we can move to statistics. So at first, let, let's check uh, some distributions in statistics. So we say most important distribution uh, in statistics is normal distribution because if we take an example, then we know sample mean will follow normal distribution, right? So normal distribution is the most important distribution in statistics. So in stats, if we already take some stats courses, we know we have in stats, we have a Z table, that's a normal distribution, right? Z table, T table, uh, chi square table, F table. We have those four tables. So those four tables is just related to four distributions. So normal distribution and T distribution, chi square distribution, and F distribution. So these four distributions are the most important distribution in statistics. Okay? Okay, so now let's say what is chi square distribution? Okay, so what is chi square distribution? Uh, so we say chi square distribution is just the summation for uh, normal distribution is square. So Let's just say z. Let's just say we have z one, z two, or z v. So z i, each z for standard normal. So v for normal, we always can uh, standardize. Like we can change into standard normal. So then this x like normal square. Uh, summation for some normal square. So we just call this x, this landing variable follow car square distribution. So with v as degree of freedom. So degrees of here we can say degree of freedom is how many normal square added, right? So z1 square plus z2 square plus 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 z in square then z x follow car square distribution with the degree of freedom a okay ah. so we so when we need to have car square test so let's say we have car square test right So usually car square test is for one-way table or two-way table. So in one-way table, two-way tables, we use car square test. Okay? Okay. Uh, so in stats, we just re remember this result. We say, oh, for one-way table, two-way table, we use car square test. So, but we don't we don't don't know why why this is car square test okay so let's 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 check this okay uh, we just check this is a really simple example suppose like uh, we uh, let's say we have one we in our class we have uh let's say grade a b c d suppose like uh, uh, grade A, B, C, D, E, not F. Great. Okay. So, suppose like in our class, totally we have 100 students. Totally, see here, total. 100. Okay. Okay. So how many can get A, how many can get B, how many get C, how, 
how many get a D. So we say those are landing variable, we don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, so, so let's say, so here we can like, oh, we can have five, so, uh, so how many got A, B, C, D, E, F, we don't know. But I suppose, suppose that we, let's just say, uh, so we can suppose that we have like 20 or 30 or, or 10, like let's just say, here 40 or 10, I'm um, sorry, here maybe the, uh, uh, like I put some numbers, like 8 or 2, 100, right? So those are, so we have this result, so we call those are observed value, right? So suppose in our class we have 100 students. So we have this result, 20 got A, 30 got B, like that. Uh, so this is the one-way table, is just to test this data, uh, whether the data fit our assumption fit the model. So model says like here, uh, for other class, we have only 10% got A, right? And here, let's say, for, let's say 40 got B, and here 30% got C, and 10% uh, got D, and 10% got A. Okay, so this is, over a submission model, okay? Uh, or, okay, so according to this model, then we have this, we say, we have those expected value, right? So those expected value is, so we have 10 got A, 40 got B, so they got C, and 10 got B and the thing got F, okay? So those are supposed data, expected data. So we want to check this, whether this observed data and expected data are quite close or not so close. So we say for such a problem, we use chi-square test, right? Uh, so the test the statistics, we have this formula, observed value minus expected value square over expected value, right? Then add them up. So this value, we call this the chi-square, right? The, the test the statistic of chi-square value is this. So here, just like a, a Apply to here is just like, uh, 20 minus 10 squared divided by 10. 30 minus 40 squared divided by 40, right? Like that. So these things we already know. Uh, but the questions here, we do not answer the question. Qu questions why those things, why like, such a thing follow, follow cast square distribution? Well, I think the degree of freedom here is a four, right? Uh, five categories, so n minus one, four. So the question is why those things follow car square? Okay, uh, so let's say, hmm. okay, so let's say, like uh, how many numbers here, like how many got A? So among 100 people, how many got A? So we know got A percentage is 10%, right? So we say like we can regard it, so we just, let, let's focus on A. Uh, oh, so got A is 10%, so not got A is 90%. We just focus on A or not A, right? So among 100, how many got A? And the percentage got A is 10, 10%. 10%. 
So such a problem is just like, like a binomial distribution. Uh, we just try 100 at a time. For each one, oh, this guy can be A or not A. Oh, this guy can be A or not A. So this guy A happen, or this is a good thing happening or not happening. Each one happening or not happening. Okay, so then let's just say, so this total number, this total number, how many get A, this is actually follow so we can see we like how many got A, so we put this uh, 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 maybe we just put it like a number of A, like a, a, a. Oh, we just put this as X, okay, this letting variable, X, X is number of people, number of grade A. How many can go to A? So this X, we know, follow this normal, uh, binomial distribution, right? Binomial distribution, N equal 1, NP. Uh, so here, N is 100. Binomial distribution, N is 100. P is 0 0.1, right? Hmm. Okay, so this X binomial distribution. So we know this X binomial distribution will close to a normal distribution, right? So normal distribution, so here NP and NPQ. Or take a square root, right? Okay. So binomial distribution will close to normal distribution. <laughs> so this is essentially limicillium, actually. And we uh, we already know this result, like binomial distribution. If we try many times, then this binomial distribution will close to normal distribution. So mean is NP. Uh, standard deviation or valence NPQ, so standard deviation square root of NPQ. Okay, so in here apply to here, that's equal. So here's 10, and here let's just say 100 NPQ. Yeah, just uh, but the NP, uh, so NP is the, we can regard NP as E. So then this NP is just expected value. Uh, like uh, how many can got A? Uh, uh, if percentage is for the po percentage of get A is 10%, then uh, we should have, we can expect we have 10 people got A, right? Uh, okay, so this equal, we say, so we put this, uh, okay. Uh, so in general, let's consider general case, like NP, NP just E. So this follows this, like NP is, we denote this NP as E, and this is radical E, NP, E, just Q, okay? So this follow no more distribution. Then this X minus E over, ah, I'm sorry over square root of EQ oh. okay over EQ yeah this one will follow standard normal right okay so this X so here in this case x is like 20, so we can regard this this observed value is uh, uh, the, this a is observed value the x and e supposed value 10 fixed right so we say we have this so observed value minus expected value uh, so there's a square 
Now we said this is follow standard normal then it's a square so let's equal q this is like a z square right Okay, so here this Q is about, we're talking about A, right? Q plus QA. Uh, so Q A is ninety, right? A is 10%, Q A is ninety. So, so for B, Q, P is 40% and Q is 60%. So in, if we have like a, a several categories, so we can say P, Q will close to one. So the Q will close to one because P quite small for each cell. Okay, so we can say that those things, like so we can regard Q equal one, then O minus E observed value, minus expected value, square or over this follows uh, standard normals or this square. Okay, so here's a so here, each one, let's say, follow like a standard normal, or, or follow standard normal square. So we know this will, will become car square distribution. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you got an idea like a Y, so here. So we can say, uh, for one-way table, two-way table, these things, O minus E square over E, is not exactly for the cost square distribution, just closely, right? So instead, we can say no, nothing is exactly, so closely will be enough, right? Okay. So we say, uh, so chi square distribution, so we understand the chi square distribution is just as us, right? So normal squares are summation of a standard normal square. So the things is cast square distribution. Okay. Okay. So once we understand this, so T distribution. So what is T distribution? Uh, so here's the definition. T is like a standard normal divided by y square root of y. So y for cast square. So let's say uh, when we have the t test, so we have one sample t test, the two sample t test, right? Okay, maybe so. Let's review it a little bit. When we have a t test, uh, so we say like okay. So let's say suppose x bar follow normal. Okay, uh, so from here we say that x bar minus mu over sigma of a radical n. So this one follows standard normal, right? Okay, <laughs> so if, if we know sigma, then we know, uh, we know this thing to follow. Standard normal. So we, uh, so we have z test. We we don't need a t test, right? So z test means we can check a standard normal. Okay. So we say uh, we don't know sigma, so we have to replace sigma by s. Then we say this one is radical This one we say follow t distribution, right? With the degree of freedom in minus one, right? So this is where the t distribution, uh, where does the t table come from, t test they come from, right? So again, like in stats, in applied statistics, like we just use this result. We say, oh, 
if we replace sigma by s, then the z test become t test, or z table become t table, right? So we need to check a t table. So we already know those result, but we don't we never ask why. Why does t or where the t come from or why does t? Okay. Okay. So let's say. Okay, so this x bar follow normal, right? So x bar minus mu, this follow normal. So for normal, we always can change it to stand normal, right? Or divided by sigma z. So we can get a numerate follow normal. So how about the denominate? So we say x bar minus mu follow normal, right? Uh, so we also can. Uh, Divided by some things, or we divided by standard deviation, we we can change into standard normal. Yeah, so we can uh, let's say maybe I put a, a sigma. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so sigma is a constant, but uh, the question is, what is the distribution for this? What is? Uh, how about uh, what is the distribution? Of s, or oh, s, well, radical n, so radical n is constant. So what is the s <laughs> standard deviation? So this s is this, right? S samples varying square root. So here's summation x i minus x bar square over n minus 1, right? So this is s. Okay. Uh, okay, so we say this, this one, so we said inside, so inside, so we say xi, x bar normal. So we also can assume those data from uh, normal, so xi is normal. So normal minus normal is also normal. So divided by degree from so but anyway, numerate it looks like this one will follow this like car square distribution degree of freedom is n minus one. So over n minus one take square root. Okay? Okay, so we can say like the, where t distribution t is z standard normal over this or a car square distribution okay so we can have this like okay so z standard normal i'm sorry standard normal divided by square root of car square distribution right so we define that we call such a distribution as a t distribution okay so t distribution So then, what is the f distribution? So let's go back to let's review. Uh, for we say for many sample problem, we have many sample t te f test or many sample ANOVA test. Uh, so this ANOVA test, this is a test statistic. We call it f value, right? Equal F value is, uh, let's say, so here's ASSG, no, sum of square of a group, divided by ASSG, right? And divided by the degree of freedom. So this is a F value. So what is ASSG, sum of a square of a group? So we say, maybe we should review a little bit. We want to uh, check this where total, we just uh, split the total values into parts. So we say the data like group one, group two, right? Group one, group two, uh, group K. Uh, so this 
so we just uh, separate the total change meter total values into this direction so we call this direction the ssg right and it all changing in this direction so we call this as sse okay so total values uh, so a uh, ssg is uh, we assume is in this in that direction no change so so is just values always like summation uh, x i minus x bar square those values right so is 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 just those things so only difference is is g is uh, we we assume those we replace we assume in this direction no change then the data like in group one data the same group two data is the same right so in this case uh, so in this is is equal zero right so in this direction no change okay so only change that come from uh, group to group uh, so we say that but anyway like uh, those things the by now we know those things just follow some cast square distribution right and uh, it is e also the same so also it is e is just as those things x i always like like this only the calculation method is not uh, not the same so it is e we just check values in this direction so each number minus their average square each number minus this group average is square but we say those things all also follow cast square distribution right so with some degree so let's say v1 v2 uh, okay uh, so this f is just the cast square over cast square so just divide by some cons so the degree of freedom right so we say if so by now we can say what is f distribution f is just the y1 over y2 so what is y1 uh, y1 follow cast square distribution y2 uh, follow cast square distribution but we also need to divide by divide by the degree of freedom so divide by degree of freedom so remember degree of freedom for cast square is just the y1 it looks like that right y1 equal uh, c1 square plus a2 square plus z v1 square right we have so many add them up so y2 is just the c z1 square plus c2 square plus z uh, v2 uh, so v1 like, like y1 divided by v1 means like this is like an average right okay okay <laughs> so this is a uh, cast square distribution of uh, this cast square distribution so is f distribution okay uh, okay so here so we uh, understand where the uh, f table or uh, uh, t table chi square table where the, the those come from so we say all those just come from normal distribution okay uh, so for we so for we have cast square distribution there's a normal or uh, normal plus normal plus normal still normal uh, like if z1 normal z2 normal z3 normal then normal plus normal plus normal is uh, just uh, normal but here we we talking about a normal square like the normal square uh, is not normal right so normal square become cast square distribution okay uh, so normal square plus normal square normal plus normal square is cast square distribution uh, so that we can say like f, ta f table there's a cast square over cast square t t is just the normal divided by uh, a cut square take square root here yeah. uh, but anyway like uh, uh, those those things uh, 
just come from uh, the F the F test or T test, right? In T test, we have to replace this by X, right? Uh, and so we also can understand like a square, uh, car square. Uh, square root of a car square is just like go back, go back to go back to z, right? Okay, but anyway, like so those are uh, those are the stat distributions in statistics. So we have four tables: normal table, a z table, t table, car square table, and f table. Okay, uh, so now, so we go to statistics. So we say the um, the first task in statistics is estimation, right? Uh, like uh, let's say so we assume, we know suppose like uh, uh we for this population so we uh, have a population the average. So population means like we have many many people. Uh, we cannot we cannot check them all. Or the data is really large. Uh, so but anyway, like if we have many many people, we want to. So here. Even for many many people, we there have an average, right? So mu is the average. So we wanted to know the average. We wanted to estimate this average. So how can we do that? We said then just let uh, take a sample, right? We so we have data. We have results. Uh, then. From the sample, from the data, we can have x bar sample mean and sample standard deviation is right. So then we say estimate this mu or sigma. So very clear, we should we should use x bar to estimate this mu and s to estimate the sigma, right? We use sample mean to estimate the population mean. Or we use the sample standard deviation to estimate the population standard deviation. Uh, so this sounds really reasonable, right? Uh, and so we call those a point estimation. Like uh, we just uh, let the x bar to estimate the mu. And we let this ace to estimate this sigma. Okay, so this is a point esti estimation. So usually, so we everybody already know, like we just use this to estimate mu. We just use the same post mu. Uh, but here we have a question. Even though everybody agreed to use this, use x bar to estimate mu, but uh, we still need to check those uh, theoretical part. Why, like why, or whether this this way is reasonable, or uh, whether this x bar is the best estimate. If we have a best estimate, we should find the best best one. So here, so we have this result. We say x bar is the best, is the best estimate. Uh, for mu. Okay. So we have this result. But here we still so we want to check also, but we want to define what 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 is the best meanings. What is the best meanings? 
So you say, oh, the, I'm the best. You will ask me, you know, what, what do you, so best, or if we want to compare, if we want to say this is the best one, we need, we should have some standards or some criteria to, 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 to judge it. Okay, so here best means two things. One is unbiased. The other one is the variance is the smallest minimum variance. So for such estimate is best estimate. So we call those as UMVE. So UMVE is actually the unbiased. unbiased minimum values estimate. Mm. So those are uh, uh, best, uh, uh, UMVE is the best one, okay? Okay, so now uh, we can prove this X bar is UMVE. Oh, this sigma, this is uh, X bar is UMVE of mu, and S is UMVE of sigma. So those two things, two estimates is are the best one, okay? Like uh, for mu, for this primitive, we say for, for estimate mu, this x bar is best, okay? Uh, okay, and also so here, we have many things, so here, those results we already know, but uh, let's say, uh, how can you, let's say, how can you find like to estimate the sigma, we have this formula for for s. So how can you get this formula? Or for mu, we also we have this. Let's say for mu, mm, we let's say so data. Uh, suppose we have three, like we have data, we have three numbers, okay? Uh, so to estimate mu, mu average, right? So we say well, those, so we, we can assume all those data that come from the same distribution, right? So those populations uh, come from the same population. Uh, so, so we say those, each one just from a distribution or a population with means mu and a standard deviation sigma. So mu sigma we don't know, okay? Uh, okay, so here we have this, like, so xi is just a mu, okay? Okay, so let's say, uh, so from this x three data, like the three data points or three learning variables, we, uh, we, we, can we use this, uh, let's just say, uh, uh, can we use this, love, oh, put it to, as a two, can we use this to estimate a mu? We say, no, because uh, they are expect this uh, this part like this so we, like divided by two like okay. uh, this one the expectation is like x one plus two x two over two uh, this expectation is first one x one over two is one over two mu, right? And plus 
x2 expectations mu. So this equal 3 over 2 mu. So we say what we want to estimate mu, but you use this, we actually you, we, you estimate 3, 3 over 2 mu. Okay? So estimations, we want to estimate this number, but you estimate this number, right? So we say this is a biased, not so good, biased, right? Uh, we supposed to estimate this number. You estimate for the use your number goes to here. Usually, estimate this become estimate this number. If you use this formula, right? You use x one plus two x two divided by two. So this is biased. Okay. But uh, if we use this, like if we just uh, divide by three. Um, I'm sorry, divide by 3. Uh, so this one is like 1 over 3 mu plus 2 over 3 mu. So this equal mu. Uh, so we say this one will estimate to here. So we say this is unbiased. Okay, so we say this estimate is better than this one. Okay, so this is biased or unbiased? The unbiased is much, much better. It's better. Okay, uh, okay, so let's say for this one x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3. We find this uh, this this one sorry, is also unbiased, right? So this is also unbiased. So unbiased meanings our target is there. So use this method. Uh, we cannot guarantee each time exactly to the, the, the target, like a heated target, but uh, close, right? Or, or uh, we will go to there. So if you use a different formula, you uh, you our target is here, but you will go to there, go to other point. So this is biased, right? So unbiased is a first requirement. So here we have like a two unbiased estimate. So which one is better? So we say which one is better? So the bet is variance is as small as possible. So <laughs> so what is the variance? Variance is just changing mental. Like Suppose like here we say we wanted to mu is here, we wanted to estimate this mu. So so apply this method some sometime estimate you you hit here or here uh, or here or here. So those are unbiased. But they have some change. Uh, change and but just this way uh, we say oh uh, here, here, here. So, like here, the changing changing meter is smaller. So we say this way is better than this way, even though both of them are unbiased, right? So here, let's say we have this. We put this at a uh, a t one, or we want the for the t one. We suppose that we have for for this uh, for this mu we have to estimate uh, uh, t1 is x1 plus 2x2 divided by 3 and t2 is uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3 uh, 
So let's so we say that both of them are unbiased. But we need to we need to determine which one is better. <laughs> so we just compare we just need to compare their values, right? Uh, so let's check the values of T or T1. Uh, so we can regard this as uh, is uh, 1 over 3 x1 plus 2 over 3 x2, right? So suppose here x1, x2 are independent. We just from the same population, but, but we just pick first number, second number, so those have, have no relationship, right? And the values, so we can find the values equal. So coefficient becomes squared, one over one over three square, one over nine. So values sigma square plus so here it's square four nine, right? Sigma square. So this equal equal five over nine sigma square, right? So this is values for this estimated T1. So how about the values for T2? So T2 is 1 over 3x1 plus 1 over 3x2 plus 1 over 3x3. So this equal just one over nine sigma square, one over nine, one over three square, right? Values for x two, one over nine sigma square. So this equal three over nine sigma square. So now we can say like this is a five over nine sigma square. This is three over nine sigma square. So this values is small. So we say T two is better than better than T one. Right? Okay. Uh, and it's and we also can see this is smallest values, minimum values. Uh, so how can how can prove this is minimum? So this actually is a, a mathematical problem, right? Suppose if this t this s let's say this estimated. Suppose T3 is just an equal combination, linear combination of x1 plus a2, x2 plus a3, x3. And this T3 is unbiased. So unbiased, we have this requirement a1 plus a2 plus a3 equal 1, right? So unbiased. So among these unbiased, uh, so the values actually values become small. Is a one square values just sort of become sm smaller is a two square, a three square. Uh, so we wanted to make this as minimum under this condition. Uh, so here AI. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so this is, this is becoming a mathematical problem. Now we have this condition a1 plus a2 plus a3 equal 1. So what under, what is the minimum of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square? Uh, so this is a math problem. We already proved that like when a1 equal a2 when this three are equal, so this equal one over three, then minimum 
says is minimum achieved. Okay, so we say uh, t this like t two uh, this actually is x bar, right? Uh, so this x bar is the best estimate. So uh, we also can prove this this is is the best estimate for sigma. But uh, this one uh, need lots of mathematics. Okay, uh, so we just uh, okay. So by now we just focus on uh, x bar. Yeah, so we say x bar is the best estimate for mu. So best means unbiased and values the smallest okay so those are best uh, okay uh, so we can stop here okay yeah because uh, yeah we can stop here okay mm. so this this lecture video we just um, let's see we just matching those uh, distributions in statistics. All we call is a statistic statistical distribution. Right? Or z, uh, z table, t table, k square table, and f table. Right? Yeah. So we explain why we use those things for a uh, lot like why for two way table, one way table. We use the k square test. Right, for one sample, why we use a t test? If we replace sigma by s, uh, then we have a t test. Right, for ANOVA, why this is a f test? Because we see those things follow f distribution, right? Uh, okay, and we also check like for uh, instead forced job estimation. Estimations we have a uh, point estimation. So Loosely, we say uh, for populations mean populations mean we use sample mean to estimate the population mean. Uh, we estimate population standard deviation by sample standard deviation. So those those things, those formula is the best estimate. The sample mean is the best estimate for population mean, and sample sample standard deviation is the best estimate for population standard deviation okay okay